the graph of y equals f of x is shown on both the grids below. Uh, so we can see that here. And part A says, on the grid above, we need to sketch the graph of y equals f of minus x. So what I've written here is that this means a reflection of the y-axis. And if you think about it, that sort of makes sense, because any x value, we're negating it, times it by minus 1. So for example, uh, this minus 2 here, if you times it by minus 1, you get 2. And sort of, you could think about that, okay, so that's reflecting it in the y-axis. So it makes logical sense. Um, so yes, yeah, so you just need to remember that that's a reflection in the y-axis. So we're going to carry that out now. So we're going to do a sketch above. So reflecting the y-axis. And we start with this point here. That's going to be the same. I'm then going to think about this point that we talked about, minus 2. So it's going to go over to 2 here. Um, this point here is going to go over here. So I'm just sort of labelling on the points that are easy to, uh, that line up well with the grid. Um, then this one is going to go over here. And this one is going to go, so we've got one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, over here. And so we've got some points here, we've got the general shape. And because it's a sketch, it doesn't have to be perfect. We'll give it our best shot. We're going to go down through these points and up like that. Fab, so now we've done that, we're going to move on to part B, which is a similar question. It says, on this grid, sketch the graph of y equals minus f of x plus 3. And this is a little bit more complicated because it includes two different transformations. So firstly, we've got a reflection the x-axis. So this time, the minus sign isn't inside the bracket there, it's outside. So instead of reflecting the y-axis, we're reflecting the x-axis. Then also, the second part is a translation by vector 0, 3. So that's what this plus 3 means. And a little reminder um, what this vector notation means. So it's laid out like this. The top number represents left, right. And the bottom number represents up, down. So in this case, we've got zero on the top, so no left and right. And we've got three on the bottom, up and down. So therefore, we're going to translate up by three. So again, like last, I'm going to look at some points. So starting off with this one, if we reflect it in the x-axis, it's going to be the same point. And then up by three, so one, two, three. So there we go. So I'm going to mark the point on there. Just going to have a look at this one now. So if we are reflecting the x-axis, we're down to here, and up by 3, 1, 2, 3. So we're in this point here. Same with this one. That's going to end up in the same position down there and up to here. And I'm going to look at this point. We're going to reflect that down and up, 1, 2, 3. And this one is going to end up going up to here. Now I'm going to roughly try and sketch um, the curve now. So we're going to go down here like that and it will carry on this side as well doing the same thing and then bro so we just get one mark uh, for a correct sketch up here and we get another mark uh, for this one here 